All right, we are back. We are going to give you your weather, but it's going to be in a, a little I bit. We got to hit it there. My yeah, bad. it's all good. We got it on the phone, so we're going to play that next. But uh, today's going to be uh, we're we're running crazy. It's Memorial Day, and uh, from for Dizier Heights, we have Mr. Hickman. How are you doing today? Doing well. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Adjust that for you. Get you nothing. Adjust it. So, uh, where did you come from? Oh my God! Today was a today was a crazy day. Um, I just came from the Millville Diner. They were awesome, um, right down the street. Yeah, good uh. stuff right there. <laughs> so at least somebody's open on Memorial Day to eat, yeah. right? Yeah. So, um, okay, good. Looks like we are. I want to make sure you're in the camera here. We we're just kind of throwing this together on the fly. Can you see yourself? You can see yourself. There I am. All right, you are there. So, uh, yeah. So what's up? You're you're going. You are going to be playing at the Layer Cake Festival. We are, yeah. Friday, uh, seven o'clock at the upstairs stage, yeah. At um, Spirit. At Spirit. Okay. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. So, have you been in the Layer Cake Festival before? Have not actually. Um, uh, last last uh, last year was the first Layer Cake, and um, uh, and yeah, we're honored to uh, to be at a gr in a great spot actually uh, at at uh, Spirit on uh, on Friday at seven o'clock. Yeah. It's what, a, have you been in the upstairs at Spirit before? Yeah. What yeah, is well, it actually, like? I, I've never been there. Actually, I mean, I've been downstairs, but I haven't been upstairs. Uh, the the first time I was there actually was was a shocker. It was uh, it was it was the Big Lebowski day. Um, and oh it was really? Just, uh, we walked up the stairs, and this giant uh, <laughs> inflatable woman comes flying towards us on a zip line. It was it was pretty impressive. That's um, fantastic. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that's a that's a great event as well as well. Um, uh, the I, I forget what the 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 dude day or something. I forget, I forget what it's called, but uh, but yeah, um, it's a it's a huge room, and uh, you know, lots. Of, I'm, I'm sure lots of people are going to be there. So. Um, and I think I think Zig uh, has a like a, a I think it's like twenty dollars for both days or something. Yeah, it's very affordable. It comes with a shuttle bus. There's shuttles, yeah, that go around. Uh, we wrote we actually did a commercial yesterday. We were riding around on the shuttle bus and uh, getting drunk in between. Um, Do we know how many bands rides? there are total performing at the event? I want to say hundred, like hundred and fifty. It's over a hundred, yes. Like so over a hundred bands for twenty dollars is two days, somewhat yeah, of a steal. Four I venues: uh, Mr. Smalls, Kativa, James Street, um, and Spirit. Spirit. Well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be. Exciting. I would say go go to Spirit at seven o'clock. Just be there. That's exactly. Nice. <laughs> yes, you do not want to miss that. Right. So, uh, tell me about the band. What's your guys' story? And how did you get your name? That's that's a very, very <laughs> interesting name for Dizzier Heights. Was uh, it was it like a a drunken thing where somebody kind of <laughs> stumbled into it literally? Um, it, it you know uh, names are names for bands are are, are interesting uh, animals. I I. I, I I oftentimes uh, do not like uh, whenever I, I come across bands that are like very simple names, uh, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but and and so my uh, you know I, I turn off immediately as, as you know with those situations. But uh, uh, band names for me, um, always uh, I, I think you should you should take some time and and, and really consider it. Um, the quote, I, I'm going to, I'm going to totally butcher the quote, uh, <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's actually a Nikola Tesla quote, um, uh, goes something like, um, I, ideas are like dizzy heights. Um, as you, as you start out, your, your footing is unsure and you're nervous. Um, but as you, as you continue to climb, your, your, your footing becomes more sure and you, 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 you seek for dizzier heights basically. Very cool. So, do you think, like, if a band has a very lame name, do you think that's a lack <laughs> of creativity? Is that why? I immediate, yeah, immediately, I, I, I think that. Um, and, you know, and 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 I, I guess uh, I'm probably shooting myself in the foot as far as like my relationships with with <laughs> with other bands, but <laughs> uh, I, I, I do personally. You know, I think that uh, that that a name is. Uh, it's the first thing people see, first thing people hear. So yeah, if you have a a relatively normal or lame name, uh, you don't do uh, you don't do yourself due diligence. You know, you know. It's like a first impression type of thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. So talk to me about the band. Uh, well, how would you describe your style for someone who is interesting and interested in coming out? <sighs> Man, um, we uh, I, I, I 
I hate that question, to be honest with you. But uh, we, I know, it's uh, a weird question, but I mean, not to put yourself in a specific category, but mm-hmm. some people, you know, are like more storytelling. Just kind of an <laughs> idea of, of, you know what I mean, of, of how to describe yeah, yourself. Not I, so much, you know, what genre are you, but... Yeah, I um I I oftentimes like fall back on the um we I feel like we we have a bit a, a unique style. Um definitely there's there's some storytelling to it. Mm-hmm. Um and uh there's there's an an animation to the uh I I know at least uh for for my vocal my vocals um I I I tend to uh try to be as animated as possible. I t- draw a lot from um like David Byrne and, and, uh, you know, talking heads, mm-hmm. um, as well as, um, you know, the clash, uh, huge fan of them. I mean, I think, I think that those are probably some of our, uh, our biggest influences, um, for this, for this style of music. Um, and then, uh, Wendy also leads, you know, leads a few, uh, few songs as well. And she's definitely got a, like a Pat Benatar blondie kind of vibe, mm-hmm. you know, as well. Kind of like that, that sassy, you know, um, angry woman kind of, kind of yeah. vibe, you know? So, uh, yeah. Um, I, I don't know. I think, um, we, we've got, we've got a couple of, uh, we've got a, a video actually on our, on our Facebook page and whatnot, um, called parasit for the song parasitic dame. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that song is, is primarily about a, 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 a uh, a woman that uh, you just can't get out of your head, you know, and you just can't you know, like as much as you try, you you, you just can't uh, can't be done with her, <laughs> you know. And uh, and we it was it's an awesome video that uh, stars a bunch of our friends and everything, and uh, um, was done by uh, a, a great guy, uh, Tom Larkin, um, very creative uh, video videographer director, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we've we've got a lot of lot of likes on on that, and uh, you know we just you know we just like to have fun, honestly. The band, you know, overall, we just we just like to have a good time. That's the best yeah. way to do it because people can draw on that energy. If you're up there and just kind of going through the motions, people kind of can pick up on that, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I I, I believe that uh, if you're not if you're not if you don't look like you're having fun, then how can you expect the crowd to have fun? Sure, <laughs> really. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That energy brings people in. That's why, you know, they, for example, if you're watching a wrestling show, the ringside announcer, he has to have a lot of energy because otherwise <laughs> people just kind of tune out. Yeah. It's yeah. kind of the same thing. Uh, that, like you said, being animated, I, th- I think, also helps as well because it is something that, you know, you're hitting multiple senses and not only are people hearing you, but then they're seeing you as well. Oh, yeah. So there's nothing worse than going to see a band perform and they look uncomfortable on stage. <laughs> Because it makes you almost uncomfortable in the audience, like you're afraid for them almost that they're going to make a mistake, or you feel like maybe you're not supposed to be watching, yeah, or yeah. something like that. The more robotic a person uh, is, I, I, I think that uh, the more your attention is drawn to what is making them robotic. Oh, sure, you know? absolutely. How did you guys all meet? Ah, oh, that's a that's an interesting one. Um, the the uh, a lot a lot of, it it's been a, a project. Uh, process actually of uh probably like the last three years um we uh uh when Wendy, Wendy and i um uh started out just um doing doing like duets mm-hmm. uh you know doing like coffee shops and things um and then uh we had a uh a, a guitar player hit me up that i I'd, I'd played some shows with um in the past and he said he was interested in what we were doing and he came along and we started working with him and then, uh, and then gradually, you know, through, through, you know, several different, uh, you know, uh, bass players, we, we finally landed on one, um, uh, another gentleman named Sean that, uh, that, uh, also works at James street. (laughs) Um, and, uh, he's, he's, uh, fit in perfectly. And then just recently, um, he brought along a, a, uh, a a friend of his we've been kind of like going through drummers like honestly you know just we've been going through drummers <laughs> mm-hmm. um and uh we finally found one that uh that 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 really uh 
you know, fits fits our style and everything. We 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 were we were working with uh, a great guy by the name of Andy Tar- Taravella who was on our um on our our debut EP, and uh, but that guy is he's he's really desired throughout the city, and uh, so we had to you know find somebody else that was <clears throat> excuse me um, mm-hmm. that was that was comparable you know to uh, to Andy and. Uh, I think we, we we found someone finally, and uh, he's going to be playing with us uh, for the foreseeable future. Very good. And I see that you and Wendy are engaged. How are. does that impact your <laughs> music relationship? Uh, it's tumultuous at times. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, there's there's a lot of um, personal things that that come in. You know, it's it's hard to like uh, at, at, at times. Uh, have that um that that closeness in you know so many so many different things but uh ultimately i think that um it 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 does uh it does benefit us we 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 have a passion for it we have a passion for for the music and like i said we started out just doing um you know acoustic shows and we were just <laughs> looking for uh a little extra scratch you know to get to to help pay the bills and and, and this and that and then it became a full-fledged band you know and uh, we've been getting a gr- lot of uh, a lot of great response, and uh, you know, I, I um, it, it, we <laughs> it's it's something that we share, you know, it's, as as in a relationship, and 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 being engaged is something that we that we can we can do together, and 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 um, I uh, I love looking over at her when I, when I'm singing because I know that the song is about her, and. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh it makes me smile and um usually makes her smile too she 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 gets a little mad at me at times but... <laughs> <laughs> does it help with the uh creative aspect of writing and putting together songs that that you two are both in a relationship and work together in the band um sometimes um i would say i would say more more so not than than uh than when it does happen um you, you know she she likes to uh she likes to write her stuff, and um, I tend to write um, on my own as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but then we kind of come together at some point in time and uh, and 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 help each other out with. Um, she she's got a great voice and 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 you know um, a, a history of, of of training, of vocal training, um, and uh, so she'll she'll sometimes do things that that will make me kind of change my uh my pattern what what i'm doing my, you know my, my vocal styling um and uh, i think one of our strengths definitely is is our harmonies um mm-hmm. in the in the band um so so like i i really lean on her a lot to um like i may come to it with with a specific harmony in mind but then she'll she'll start singing and and it just kind of changes it you know um and and I think that uh, um, we we are a continually growing, continually changing entity, um, and and that uh, that that is that's something that I love about this project. Honestly, um, I've been playing music for a long time, and and uh, have have tried quitting, you know, a number of times. <laughs> you know, it's like like I'm a heroin addict or something, but <laughs> music's my heroin, you know, and. Uh, uh, you know, and and this this project I think is is one of the most um, relaxed, um, uh, non stressful mm-hmm. kind of uh, kind of environments for me that that I've uh, ever experienced, and and I think that it it it, it shows in our uh, in our performance and our songwriting. Um, we had a we actually had a. Uh, a a review of, of our CD by, um, a, a, an online, um, uh, you know, uh, music thing. And, uh, and, uh, it was, it, you know, uh, the, our first, the first review we got was, was like super flattering. Uh-huh. This one was like, was like somewhat like side of the cheek flattering. And I'm like, wait a minute, were you paid to say that? <laughs> yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, like and and one of the biggest things for them was you know like it, the the basically the the EP was like kind of all over the map you know and there wasn't like a uh, specific genre more or less. Um, well, that's not EP. a bad thing though. To and, me, at least, I think that makes it more interesting. 
and that's and that's what we were really going for was um i mean we put them in we put the songs in an order that uh that we felt was most pleasing Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, but yes, absolutely. Like it's it's more people of people don't have creativity. They just want to uh, like people who listen to like DVE, for example. They will not go outside of the bubble of classic rock. Or right, if you listen right. to you know Y one hundred eight, you know heaven forbid you listen to anything besides country. Yeah. It's like the earth is going to shatter. And and really, I think it's it's better to be diverse and to expand yeah. your music horizons. Absolutely. And 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 honestly, with the, with the EP, it's funny. Um, we. we really didn't see ourselves being at this point um with that when we when we started it um it was it was more or less just a sampler uh-huh it was just a sampler of stuff that we did and what you know what what we like doing um sure. you know to kind of hand out and get get to places um get into places yeah what is your stance on cowbell cowbell <laughs> I mean, the more the better. So he's in favor of Cowbell. There's this big debate. Uh, my friend Matt Kastner, we, we were talking about this earlier. He's from uh, the Leisure Stark Band. He's very anti-Cowbell. Now Tyler's pro-Cowbell, so I just kind of wanted to see it, where you were on the issue. It sometimes like, brings the song together. It's like one of those things sometimes, man. I, I, we really don't use enough Cowbell, to be honest. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you need to get more Cowbell. This is, a, this is an old Cowbell. Uh, this is from Tina Walker of the De- uh, Development Corporation here in Millville. She loaned it to us for the the station. It used to be a big part of my my show. So yeah. I used to be uh, very involved with Cowbell. It used to be every week. So we would uh, do you ring sh- the. Do you just shake it? Yeah, I would uh, ring it okay. into a set into a, a different segment. We had a a segment where I would you know give my my decree, and we rang the Cowbell to uh, to ring into the into the segment. <laughs> so. What's 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 the deal with the shampoo? Well, oh, that yes, you'll have to, you will have to stay tuned <laughs> until the end of the show to hear about good old PSA. Hear about that? Yes, we have a PSA PSA every uh, Monday morning. We do a public service announcement from the River's Edge. Uh, very important issues that people need to uh, pay attention and try to adopt into their everyday life. See, uh, people don't realize I am uh, Pittsburgh's moral compass. And as such, I need to steer people to the right path. So we try to use our public service announcements every Monday to uh, do such and try to help herd the people of Pittsburgh into a just direction. Uh, I see where you went with that cowbell herd. Yes. Yeah, see, there you, <laughs> yeah. You're catching the puns, on, you know. Exactly. Uh, today's Memorial Day. Did you do anything special for Memorial Day? Um, not yet. Um, uh, as you know, I, I, I uh, had a late night and I woke up late. Mm. <laughs> I'm here late. <laughs> um, good. You made it. <laughs> I made it. And luckily I own the network so I can go over. So which is what we are doing now. <laughs> so. Right on. Uh, no, I am a veteran though. Um, oh, are so, you? Uh, Thank you. Thank you for so, your yeah. service. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> well, okay. If you're a veteran, then I really want to pick your brain because this is a, a, a topic that we have been discussing at length today. And I see uh, on your page, you know, you have a, a post here that says that old fart who hobbles around with his VFW hat on. Before you laugh too hard at him, realize he has been he was more of a badass than you could possibly yeah. imagine. Sure. Which I thought was a cool way to uh, to talk about. Memorial Day, and one of the things that has bothered me about both Memorial Day and Veterans Day, and I, and since you've served, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. I think it is a great holiday. Both of them are great holidays, but I think the masses have destroyed it mm-hmm. because sure. uh, through social media, people are too busy congratulating themselves and patting themselves on the back about how patriotic they are and how much they care about our veterans and how they care more than you and how they're pointing the finger and looking down at you because you're going to a picnic or this or that. And somehow I feel like they're trying to make it about themselves instead of about the veterans and about those who have served through these Facebook posts. Instead of just saying, you know, somebody who goes on Facebook and says, you know, happy, you know, Memorial Day or happy Veterans Day. That's different than the grandstanding and the phony poems that they Googled. And I feel like half of these people wouldn't take 10 seconds to actually call a veteran and thank them personally. Yeah, It's yeah. all about trying to bring likes and shares and hoopla to their own Facebook page instead of yeah. really thinking about what it's truly about. Do you, am I out of line in saying that or, or do you kind of see the same thing? I concur. Uh, absolutely. Um, the, uh, it, 
well, Memorial Day, a lot of people don't don't know the difference even. That's uh, true. That's the worst most, part, I think. Is, uh, yeah. Memorial Day is the, yeah, the, the, you know, we're, we're remembering um, those who died that didn't come home, mm-hmm. you know, which, which are a lot. There's a, yeah. there's a lot of those. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, it's something that, uh, that, I don't think we, we think about we're, we're numb to in, in so many different ways with, um, you know, and, and I hate to be a, a, a tipper gore and, and, and say like, you know, it's, it's because of video games or it's because of, of movies or, or this or that. But I mean, you know, for some reason our society is, is really numb to that. Um, except I, for when it's a, an option <clears throat> to, to bring it back to Facebook page. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know, and, 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 and you're, you're right, you know, that, that, uh, that people just post things, um, oftentimes for likes or for, you know, to start some sort of a, a Facebook debate or something along those lines. Um, uh, I'll, I'll take the opportunity to say that I, I'm definitely a, a Bernie supporter uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, you know, like, like I, I, I laugh honestly at, um, when I hear, <clears throat> excuse me, when I hear, uh, make America great again, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, man, like. Like really, like when were we honestly that great? I mean, I, I understand the the greatest generation. I'm a big World War Two buff. Um, I understand that, and I and I do applaud. I, I applaud those those people that 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 sacrifice so um, so dearly um, to to <laughs> uh, stop a a a threat, a global threat. You know, um, and 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 I, like I said, I am a veteran, and and um, I, I gladly would have sacrificed. Um, that's that's what you you go. That's why you join. Honestly, um, if if you know if, if you've never served, you don't understand. Sure, you know um, that that is that is the reason why you why you join um, is uh, not to die, but but to to you know uh, offer yourself as a uh, um, willing participant. You know in 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 that game of death, really. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, I think, uh, I think Memorial Day is, is, is a, is a really a sacred, probably one of the most sacred holidays, um, uh, that, that we should, we should really look at it more as a, uh, uh, a, a, not a worship, but a, but a, a, a remembrance of, of those who, uh, who made the ultimate sacrifice as opposed to, uh, just a day to, uh have off work and get drunk yeah. <laughs> and i agree completely but to uh play devil's advocate and this sure. is a, a point that i've made as well um not so much uh, you should obviously remember a uh, memorial day and remember those who served and did not come back but by going to those picnics and enjoying that time Ooh. with the with your family isn't that in a way embracing the gift that those people have given you because without their sacrifice you would not be able to True spend time with your family because i because i've always hated whenever people try to look down on someone for having a picnic with their family and i'm thinking well isn't that what these people have done for us they've created a culture where we can do this they've created a culture where you know i look at uh, there's a picture that was posted on facebook of a kid running and you could see a bomb dropping on his village in the background and i'm thinking my god these people have to look over their shoulder every day and we're so blessed in this country that we don't have to and and we can thank our veterans for that and I think as long as you do it, still remembering mm-hmm. what these people have done for us, I think that it, in some way it's almost honoring them that you are no, you're right. a- allowing yourself to take advantage of the gift that they've given you because I feel like it would be a shame almost to squander that. You're absolutely right. Yeah, yeah. That, that, it, you're absolutely right. Um, I, I, as long as as long as you remember, remember exactly. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if you forget, then then you've kind of lost the the point of, of the whole holiday. Right. So very cool. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. It's Fort Dizier Heights. They're going to be 7 p.m. at Spirit Hall upstairs, June 3rd at the Layer Cake Festival. Stay tuned. Right after the next break, we're going to end the show with a public service announcement, where I will uh, help guide you to greener. To greener gardens here on the river's edge. <laughs> 